Hello, hello everybody, this is David Senpai here, and we are uh, starting the next episode. I know it's a little later in the day than what we normally do, um, but just to give you guys a quick recap for those of you who missed it, so we went ahead and we did a lot of training in the last episode. So, uh, Zuzu Mount Hump, that name will be changing, I swear, um, and Chad have been trained up really well. I went back and actually picked up Squidward, and so Squidward is almost ready to, um, oh yeah, he's like super almost ready to actually uh, learn Bubble Beam. So actually, we're going to go ahead and go into the, the tall grass over here, and we're going to have Squidward. Well, apparently we're actually going to fight a trainer first. <laughs> Because nothing says fun like beating up children. That was a joke. Um, although in hindsight, this is not the best for, uh, yeah, see, Zuzu just doesn't have what it takes to be this guy. I wonder if Bite could do a little bit more, if, he, if it just doesn't do, it's not super effective. Hello, hello! Hey, a crit hit! We love to see that! And of course, it snapped out of the confusion. But this last bite should be able to beat the AA Ron. And Zuzu, awesome, just hit 23. And Squidward just hit 25. And. He is learning Bubble Beam. No, I don't want to learn Bubble Beam. Uh, yes, we want to make room for Bubble Beam. Uh, do, do, do. We're going to get rid of Constrict because Constrict is pretty much the only thing worth getting rid of. Um, because Supersonic can still do something at the end of the day. But now I have something to actually use against Flannery. Hold up. Excuse me? Hold the phone! Zuzu's evolving into Crobat already? I well, actually did not expect this. Because Zubat doesn't evolve until cro into Crobat, except if uh, his happiness level is super freaking high. So apparently Zuzu loves me. Aw, that's cute. What the heck? Okay, so I have a Crobat now. <laughs> That's awesome! Wow, okay, I... That's awesome! Although he didn't get as much HP as I kind of figured he would. Um, but that's awesome, I love that. And then I'll go ahead and take Squidward's item. And he's got that EXP share. I'm gonna give it to Koi, actually, because I need Koi to hit level 25 so that he can learn, I want to say it's Dragon Breath, something like that. Um, that's so freaking funny. Okay, now, and now we're going into our double battle. It's battling time. A Meryl and a Skarmory. I don't love the Skarmory. Or the Meryl, actually. Okay, so... Let's use that. Uh, I'm gonna use Magnitude, actually. I'm, I'm trying to kill this Meryl. I do not want this Meryl surviving, because if he uses Water Gun against me, against Mount Hump, like, I could be... Are you kidding me? Honestly, yeah, roll out. Let's do that. I can... I'm... Honestly, I'm relieved, actually. Thank you for using... Uh... Roll out. Water Gun was what I was afraid of. Agility, it, just, it is what it is. It's not a huge deal. Okay. 
That didn't actually do as much damage as I kind of figured it would. Um, although, if he keeps using agility, it's going to be way... Oh, well, it's just speed. It's not actually... I don't know what I was thinking of... Uh, potato, potato, potato. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Moral of the story, ignore me. Look at Koi, gaining levels, taking names. It's a Swellow. Love that, actually. Um, I'm gonna bite the Swellow. Use Magnitude. I know it won't hurt the Swellow, but hopefully it'll be enough to, ooh, love that. Yeah, and a 927 should be enough to smack that. Or not. What the heck? Okay, well. <gasps> no! No! Okay. I just saw my entire life flash before my eyes. Oh my goodness. I am stressed. Zippy, I choose you. You're you're gonna come out and be a friend. I'm not taking any risks. What are the odds of that turning into Earthquake? What the heck? Lordy, okay, yeah, no thanks. No, thank you. Um. Cool. This is a dream. I'm sure of it. A what? Okay. Cool. Well, I smacked their them around a little bit. Let's go ahead and revive, and then we're gonna go head for Meteor Falls, which is where we need to go to fight Team Magma. Let me double check something real quick before we uh, scamper off. I might go buy a Pokeball too, because I know we're gonna have at least two encounters, I think. Oh, I can only bake Great Balls here. I'll buy two Great Balls then, hello. Um, and I'm gonna buy a Super Repel just in case. Oh my gosh. And this is the move relearner, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the move tutor. Okay, sweet. So we're officially on route 114, guys. Woo! What are you? Oh, this is a secret base person. Hold up! This is where you get the fossils? Oh! <gasps> Bro! Okay, did I just get dig? I did! Dig is such a good move! And I'm pretty sure I can talk to this guy and get a fossil of some kind. Um, you ha want a fossil? Oh, okay. No, he doesn't give me a fossil. That's sad. I was hoping. I wonder if... Okay, no, nothing. Worth a shot. I'm pretty sure that guy doesn't give me anything. Um, does this guy? Oh, okay. Gives me roar. I don't really want roar, but hey. Not the worst move. Uh, this one I can turn into a double battle if I want it. I don't think I want to right now. Oh, this is, uh, this, oh, well, hmm, awkward. I guess I don't have a choice. I'm fighting this lady whether I want to or not. Um. 
And it's a Meryl. Of course. I want to say in these, like, little, uh... What am I thinking of? I don't know, my train of thought's out the window. This little area, Route 114, there's a few options for types of Pokemon I can get. So I know I can get... Um, I know it's usually Viper or Zangu, but I'm not sure which one bonds an Emerald. I remember, in, I think in Ruby it was Zangu's, um, so I'm not 100% sure. And then I think Lombre's also spawn, or like Lotad's spawn here, and I remember Swablu do as well. So honestly, I'd be okay with a Swablu. Or a Lotad, I suppose. Uh, because then I can get a Woody Golo. Um. Okay, this is my encounter. I'm going to look away from the screen. I wonder what it's going to be. And it's a Swablu. Okay, I'm honestly, I'm cool with that. Um. I'll just use Tackle. I guess. Ooh. I might just use a Great Ball at that health. Because I genuinely don't know if I could kill it or not. Yeah, I'm just gonna use a Great Ball. Okay, sweet. So, like, my thought process, just, like, let y'all know. If I had crit hit, that probably would have killed the Swablu. So that's why I didn't. Swablu, the Cotton Bird Pokemon. A Pokemon that has wings like cottony clouds. After enduring winter in which little food is available, Swablu, flock, Swablu flocks move closer to towns in spring. Okay, so let's give Swablu a nickname. Do you guys have any, uh, any nickname ideas? I think I'm just gonna go cotton ball. Cause he looks like a little cotton ball. Plus there's enough room for it. So now we have cotton ball. That's a kind of cute name when you think about it. Um, this is the PC owner lady. Oh, hi, David, Zenpai. I'm sorry everything is so cluttered. When I get engrossed in research, things end up this way. This is embarrassing. Please keep a secret. Keep this secret in exchange for this. Oh, it's a Lotad doll. Well, uh, that was uneventful. Gee, thanks, lady. Oh, a pineapple berry now. Okay. I'm mad. The way he kind of spoke, I kind of figured it was going to be something different. Okay, so now we have this double battle. So who's up? Mount Hump. Chat. I honestly, I think I wanted to put Zuzu up next. Let Koi and Zuzu take it on. Honestly, just because I don't know what these two have. And after the last earthquake, I kind of got scared. A Rosalia and a Graveler. Although, now that I'm looking at this, I 100% wish I would have kept him in there. Uh, cause Magnitude could smack both their butts. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna one-shot Rosalia. But then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this Graveler. That's some good EXP, man. Oh, okay, actually did a l awesome. He flinched. I love that, actually. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna use Supersonic because we want confusion. We want him to stop hitting himself. Oh, bro, what is the likeliness of getting multiple flinches like that? And he's out of there. Nothing to fear but fear itself. And Koi is now level 24, so he's getting close to learning Dragon Breath? 
Dragon Rage? Twister? I just remember it's a dragon type move. Um. Do, 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 do. Oh, it is the Viper. Oh, what did I? What am I, Mashugana? Freaking use Splash. I wasn't paying attention. Also, this reminds me, since Bite is basically his only move, I need to give Gyarados the black sunglasses. If I didn't do that already, I might have already done that. No. Oh, no, I've got him having the EXP share. Harbos. Sounds like a Pokemon name. Oh, 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 oh. Want to battle against my Pokemon? Not really, but I guess I technically did talk to you. What a what a ham! And he brings out his AA Ron. If I was to ever get an Aaron, Aaron, his name would be AA Ron. Would be like A dash Aaron. What the? Why is it making Pokemon flinch so much? Okay, there's the headbutt. Did not do any damage, really. But that iron defense ain't gonna save you, buddy. I hate to tell ya. Although, shoot, at this rate, I'm gonna run out of bites. Okay. So I actually think I'm going to... I'm going to put Mount up front. I'm just going to call him, refer to him as Mount now. Swablu! Astonish. That's astonishing. Ahaha. Ha. What a sweet burn. Love that. I know the next one is uh ba 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 Peter Pan or Pick Pepper Pepper Purple Peppers. I don't remember. Like I, I remember, but I don't remember. Okay, I know that's there's something that has to be hidden up here. Not? What? Okay, that's weird. Uh ba da ba da ba. Uh, of course. Well, I guess I, I, I'm gonna assume this guy's a fire or a rock Pokemon trainer. Lugma. Called it. Well, magnitude should theoretically, especially if it's magnitude level 10, be able to one shot. Okay. About to pull out Wingle. I. Definitely want to uh, change Pokemon. I'm gonna go with Zippy. Let Zippy have some fun. Let him use his uh, headbutt. I think I will teach. I'm seriously considering teaching Zippy uh, strength as well because it gives stab effect. Because Zippy is a normal type and Strength is also normal type, which is kind of weird when you think about it. I kind of wish strength was a fighting type move, you know, but, you know, whatever, I didn't design the game. Okay, next up. So I expect this guy to have a Geodude, but I don't know what this other person's going to have. Geodude and a Lombre. Okay. So. I'm a little scared of the Geodude. Especially after last time when it used Magnitude and almost destroyed my soul. Um, Koi's got some solid 
Uh, magnitude 7. I think that's enough to kill the Geodude? It was not. That's tragic, actually. Okay, he can use Growl. And Defense Curl, so you're about to be kaputs. Tackle actually took care of the Lombre, which is sweet. And it's a Meryl. Ugh, Meryl. I don't like Merrills. Okay, what are you gonna be? A Nummel! Still gonna use another Magnitude. I'm gonna use Tackle on the Meryl. Maybe I should've, okay, Magnitude 7, that might be enough to kill the Meryl. It's enough to kill the Nummel, obviously. Fingers crossed it's on the Meryl too, cause I do not want to see a water gun head from out. Crap. Hey, Dragon Rage. Oh. Okay. That was not as bad as I thought it was going to be, actually. And I'm pretty certain Dragon Rage, if... if uh, I'm pretty sure Dragon Rage does 40 damage, no matter what. Um... Cool. Uh, do, 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 do. Should I fight that guy? I don't know if I should fight that guy. Dragon Rage. Yeah, it does 40 HP. So I was, I was correct. Yeah, actually, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and head back. I'm going to heal everybody up. And then I'm going to continue on the fight. But I don't feel like fighting any of these Pokemon, so I'm actually going to use a Repel. I should probably honestly go back and give it to Swablu. It gets Swablu out of my party and just kind of train up Swablu some. But I haven't decided if I'm actually going to use Swablu. Avoid meeting his gaze. Okay. Hehe. <laughs> Would this mean you're right? That thing in Mount Chimney will... Huh? I don't know who you are, but if you get in the way of Team Magma, don't expect any mercy. Hold it right there, Team Magma. You're badly mistaken if you think you you can have your way with the world. It's Archie. Okay, that's what I thought. Hehe. <laughs> huh. Even Team Aqua joins us. But it's too much trouble to deal with you all. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We got the meteorite, so off to Mount Chimney we go. Hehe. <laughs> so, be seeing you, Team Aqua. Be seeing you, you Team Aqua dingbats. Sorry if I couldn't speak there for a second. Didn't I see you before at Slaveport's museum? Oh, so your name is David Senpai. Oh crap, I skipped too far. Uh, hmm, you're one odd kid. Team Magma is, da is a dangerous group of total fanatics. They en engage in destruction claiming to expand the landmass. They are the rivals to us, the sea-loving Team Aqua. Boss, you shouldn't give chase to Team Aqua. Yes, yes we must. We've got to hurry. There's no telling what Team Ak Team Magma will do at Mount Chimney. David Senpai, you should keep an eye out for Team Magma. Farewell. Hold up, so wait, do I not have to fight them? I, I, I'm Cosmo. Cosmo. Brief. Cosmo, I'm a professor. Team Magma asked me to guide them to the Meteor Falls, but they tricked me. They even took my meteorite away. 
and then another similar bunch, Team Aqua, showed up. After that, I don't understand any of it. That Team Magma, what are they going to do with that meteorite at Mount Chimney? Don't know, dude. So I gotta make a decision. Am I going to use a repel again? Oh, bounce, bounce, bounce. Sweet, okay, so I successfully made it out of Meteorite Falls. Crap, I wasn't trying to fight you. <laughs> my strongest skill is busting bricks with my forehead. Doesn't sound like a skill, that just sounds like you have a thick head. And it's Machop. Mind to level five. I think that didn't do anything. Level six, that's not gonna do much either. I might kill him. Not quite. Okay, we're done playing games. Um, Zuzu, I choose you, you. Look at my boy. Look at Zuzu. Such a good boy. Girl. Boy? Boy. I don't, I don't know. Such a good dude. Didn't really get any XP, but whatever. Dumble, you are going to the back of the party, my friend. Oh, what item do you have? Is it? Super potion! Lit! Um, I'm gonna put you front and center, actually. Make you earn your keep. Yeah, use rock smash. Oh, a great ball. Cool. So this is route one... If... Oh, Blockberry. I think this heals any status ailment, if I remember correctly. I know I'm not coming back here, so I might as well pick it now. Um, let's find out what a Blockberry does. Blockberry. Oh, it's just part of a build block thing. Okay. Eh, PP up. Um. Who's Chad and Boy? Ah, okay. Let's let's see what they got. Cool. I have a rare, I have a rare Pokemon. You're disturbing my meditation. You'll be punished for it. So I'm assuming it is a psy okay, yeah, psychic Pokemon. Sangus and Metatite. Okay. Sangus always have purple claws like that. Um, Chad should be able to take out the Sangus. And then Bite should take out the Metatite. Not if it uses Detect, though. <laughs> Awkward. Oh, we need to kill this Zangoose now. Oh, well, there we go. That takes care of that. Lit. Sapphiper! Um... That's a poison Pokemon. I don't think it's actually going to do that much. Wow. I'm... Oh, wow. Hidden power did nothing. Okay, yeah. About what I expected. I'll use Seismic Toss on him at least, and then, uh... I know then it'll at least do 22 damage. Because Seismic Toss does apparently the sound of... Same amount of damage as the level. Spoink. Okay. Just keep using bite. On all the oinkers. All the spoinkers. Ick. 
Since when does Swiper no lick? That's weird. Chad's now level 23. Although I think it is weird that I didn't have to fight Team Magma there. I feel like as a kid I remember fighting them in the mountains, but maybe it's because Team Aqua chased them away. And in Ruby, you know, that wasn't the case. Look at that. Okay. There's something here. I feel like there's something here. Okay, there is something here. Although, I totally thought there was a way... Am I seriously just gonna have to go around clicking everywhere? I guess I am. I don't really wanna fight this kid, I don't think. Oh, oh, it's a heart scale, sweet. Um, isn't there something? I think there's more to this route, but I guess I have to have Surf to do it. I don't know if I keep going that way, it's just gonna take me to Pedalberg, and I don't want to do that. And then I have to loop all the way back, which is not desirable. Um, or maybe it is, I don't know. Well, this is gonna be my encounter for Oh, well, it doesn't matter because it's too bad. Oh, what the heck? Really? Loser. Um, in hindsight, in a cave full of psychic Pokemon, let's not have him front and center. Um. So basically, you know, because of the dupe claws, I do not have to catch Zubats, but if anything other than a Zubat pops up, then, uh, you know, I can catch it. I just want to use Wing Attack, see if I can kill it. Sweet. Wow, that did nothing. It's because Chad's still being a Chad and it's taking my EXP. Yeah, I think you've, uh... I'm not gonna do that. Lordy, I should use a Repel. Especially if we're only going to encounter Zubats, man. Um, a Moonstone! Pretty sure I can use that to evolve Skitty into Delcaddy. Pokemon, let's see. Um, so I guess the professor will not be joining us, and I t honestly do not think. Oh, it's a soul rack. Okay, well, this is going to be my first official encounter then. Um, I don't know. It's a rock type, so wing attack shouldn't do that much. Okay, good. That was correct. Okay, a Moonstone is used to evolve a Clefairy into Clefable, a Jigglypuff into Wigglytuff, a uh, Skitty into Delcaddy, so I was correct, and a Nido Queen and an or a Nido Reno and a Nido Renan into a Nido Queen and a Nido King, respectively. So there we go. Today we learned. Okay. Solrock, the meteorite Pokemon. Solar energy is the source of it, of this Pokemon's power. On sunny days, groups of Solrock line up facing the sun and absorb its light. Um, 
I feel like this is gonna be tacky, but everybody meet Sunny. At least it's better than Rocky when you think about it. I found a full heal. Sweet. Uh, I don't really feel like fighting any Pokemon right now, guys. I just want to get back to uh, smacking Team Magma around, truth be told. Oh my gosh. So close. So close. So far. And I know what some of you have probably said or are thinking, you're like, oh, David, you could have used a repel that entire time, not gotten an encounter. And, uh, instead, gotten, uh, tried for a Bagon. And that is true. You're, you're not incorrect. But, oh my gosh. Um, a Lombre. So I was correct. You can't catch Lombre in this area. But, it's whatever. That's gonna be some pretty good EXP, though. 300, yeah, not bad. Did I fight those twins? I had to have. I gotta fight them. Koi. Twins, uh... Now, I think I'll... Maybe I should... I'll heal up, then come fight them. I'll, I'll fight them, then I will, uh... I'll probably go back to Mount Chimney, and then end it there. I think that will be a great place to stop the series. Or, to stop this episode, actually. So I'm going to go fight those punks. Face me. Face me, fisherman. Do I want these two? I think I do. Face me, fisherman. Face me. There we go. <laughs> I landed a big one. A huge one. Me? It's not... I'm not just a pretty face. Well, let's see what you got for me. A Barbroach and a Nuzleaf. Barbroach! Nothing about him scares me. If I had anybody else on my team, I would be terrified. But, um... That should one-shot them, and Dragon Breath should do fine against... Uh... Barbroach, Barbroach, Candler, Magnitude, and, uh, oh, Water Sport. Wow, good thing I, uh, didn't decide to use any of the Zero Fire type moves that I know. <laughs> and bye-bye, Barbroach. So wait, hold, I need to think about this, or I need to look at this for a second. Is Zubat, or is Crobat a flying... Okay, it's flying poison. I don't know why I kind of thought it was like a dark type. Well, an energy root. Well, that's cool. Um... I can't go anywhere else without... That. Did I take any damage in that fight? I did not. So... What I'm going to do then is, you know, I'm going to scamper along. I'm going to just use a repel. Sorry, not sorry. Plus, honestly, this kind of gives me a chance to collect a lot of bash. Repels effects wore off, so. I 
Okay. Did I just screw the pooch? Okay, I did not. I almost screwed the pooch, but I'm a-okay. All right. Yeah, let's water the Orin. The plants seem delighted. Well, I am glad they're delighted. This has Nummel and other Pokemon, so for sake of argument, I'm gonna put Squidward front and center. Okay, or not. Okay, so I can head up here, but I think this is actually a great place to stop this episode. Um, so I'm going to stop it here, and on the next episode, we'll actually fight Team Magma um, at the top of Mount Chimney. And then hopefully also get, be able to fight Flannery. So that's that's the goal for the next episode. But in any case, uh, thank you guys for stopping by and watching the stream. I do appreciate it. And for those of you who are catching me on YouTube, I also appreciate you guys uh, keeping up with the series. Feel free to leave a like or a comment or subscribe if that's how you're feeling. No pressure one way or another. Um, and as always, I hope you guys have a great night, a great evening, a great whatever time it is where you guys are. And as always, I hope you continue to game on.